this is Miss S and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna share you the software that I'm using to cancel the noise and also to enjoy having a class without worrying about the background noise. So to begin with, I am using Plantronic 628 and I strongly recommend this to you because this works well with that software and even Plantronics alone I can see the difference already that it lessens the noise so this is just a little bit pricey like 1,900 1, plus but it's okay because it's worth it so I've been using this for three years already as you can see the ear cushions are already torn and I haven't bought them yet so another hack that I did okay so just to be safe uh, I put a cotton here and then wrap this with black cloth so when you try this on it won't be too obvious to the student like this okay there you go So I know how frustrating it is when suddenly in the middle of our class, the dog, the dog barks or um, we hear our baby is whining and uh, or sometimes the cats are meowing, the children are playing outside, so oh, especially the motorcycle sound. And also when I'm having a class, uh, I have my fan here in front of me and uh, actually even though it's really windy because my hair is swaying so the student doesn't complain because it's not vi uh, it's not i don't know maybe they can't really hear it or maybe if there is this sound it's too small that they can't recognize it's wind so yes in my video i'm using that headset so find out for yourself how effective the software is and uh, yeah, I, I recommend that you follow the instruction properly so that there, would be, there won't be any problem because when I was starting this, I kept on checking what was the problem because <clears throat> the microphone was missing or the speaker was not working. It's because I forgot some settings that are needed. Okay, so if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below so i can like reply to your message if you have some questions so enjoy watching okay so let's start as you know i have this plantronic 628 headset and i downloaded this plantronics hub for windows because i am using windows but if you're using mac okay you can choose this button when you actually buy this Plantron 628, you can see the instructions at the back of the box and then you can just follow it. They also provide uh, the website, but if not, okay, so here it is. So you can just copy. Okay, then after you download, all right, I think uh, we are now ready to move on to downloading by voice meter. So for voice meter, okay, you can search in Google voice meter or if not, you can go to vbaudio.com voice meter and here is actually the appearance of voice meter software. Then scroll down and you can find install here. So click this and this is good for Windows PC. I'm not sure if this will also work with Mac. I haven't tried it. So, but Mac, so maybe you can also try it with yours. Also, in Voice Meter, when you start it, uh, there's this pop up message if you want to donate for them. But this software is absolutely free. So, if you don't want to always see that message whenever you start Voice Meter, you can have the option of checking the box there do not show this message again okay so let's show now okay here is the voice meter app okay so let me start with the hardware input usually when you have um, different microphones in your computer you can see 
here the options but since I already disabled them I only have Plantronics so you're going to choose WDM actually um, it took me like more than two hours to fully understand the instruction when I watch that invoice meter website and also um, uh, in YouTube but uh, this setting actually is the simplest or the shortest so others when they are using voice meter in another way but for me only for classes or for us teachers okay I also I uh, can't remember the difference between WDM and MME but it is printed for our setting that we use WDM for hardware input okay so now in second we have another hardware input but again maybe for some people they are using this um, in another way but for us we just have to focus with hardware input and the hardware out virtual input that's already given so it's when uh, it's like automatic when you click something here in hardware input so for hardware output, we have A1 and A2, but we, we will just only focus with A1. In A1, okay, instead of WDM speaker, now we will choose MME. Okay, so uh, I'm not really that expert in voice meter, but this is just what I am using since... I started this by the way it's been three years since I have this voice meter and I also just read in one of the forums also in ASL group that yeah also voice voice meter is one of the best like softwares to use in canceling noise so here MME speakers okay now we'll we'll move here we will move here where's my drawing so this part actually um if you want some echo okay you can adjust this you put anywhere you like okay but for me i want it just here and low or high so if you can hear my voice it's kind of uh, uh small and high pitch so i want it to make a little bit lower husky <laughs> what I like in voice meter is um, there is an effect like you're a DJ uh, you're you're singing like some re a recording artist they are using I don't know what it is called like a special mic so it sounds like that okay now under this uh, microphone okay we have here so usually what I, u uh, I use is only like four but since I'm recording I want it a little bit louder okay then you can play here whatever level you want you can adjust it with audibility I don't know what will happen if I make it higher but uh, this is my uh, setting only point two so you can check that your microphone is working if this one is moving okay so up and down yes it's moving now what's uh what's the purpose of a or b here so enable b and uh, let's see if you enable a okay now you hear that there's an echo you can hear yourself and you think so better disable this our input we're not going to do anything here even if you play with this one it's not going to affect our uh, conversation or setting because uh, no device here with this one okay uh, you can also set this to the highest but I just make it like this so why a um, some teachers actually find this useful if they don't want the student to hear something uh, that something that is playing in their computer so for example one useful 
uh, example is the pronunciation. So sometimes, of course, we have to admit that there are words that we can't pronounce well, especially scientific or other complex words. So when we use the dictionary and we want to know the correct pronunciation, the student won't, won't hear that. But this one, when you enable, this is also very useful because it's um, like whatever you play in the background, like when you want to share audio or video, the student can hear that. Especially when you're screen sharing and you want to show the student uh, some videos. So even the audio, yeah, click this B. But most of the time, we just disable this. And here it's moving again. This is the speaker. So it means our speaker is working. You can adjust the level. Okay. Ooh, it's, it depends in your preference. So you want it louder or just it, it, it's up to you. Okay. You can play with, this, with the levels. Okay. So these are only the things that you're going to do with voice meter software. But are we done? No, not yet. We still have to do something. And yes, it involves control, sound control panel. Okay, here you search sound, sound control panel. Okay, my computer is just a little bit slow, so please bear with it. Um, because uh, I, I am playing something in the background. All right, so here, this is the speaker part. You can see there are other speakers available, but I disabled what I don't need. So remember that we only need voice meter and plantronics. So if not plantronics or voice meter, disable. Go, same goes with the microphone. So here, okay, right click and choose default device so here i already set it to default device plantronics will now be automatically set as default communications device so after you set you go to properties okay so with the levels it doesn't matter because you adjust it in voice meter so this one doesn't actually affect so same goes with voice meter. So as you see, that's just so low, but I can adjust that in voice meter. Okay, so nothing special here in the speaker, but we will do something in the recording. Oh, by the way, here, wh where is it? Levels. Okay, I forgot to tell you. So, yes, in the speakers here, we also have microphones. So, yes, always set your microphone to zero. So, meaning it won't catch any background noise. So, okay. Now, we'll move to microphone in recording. Again, I have lots of microphones available from my camera. And also the built-in microphone. So, I disabled them. Now... I only have Plantronics and Voice Meter. So again, set Voice Meter as your default device because we are only going to use Voice Meter. And Microphone of Plantronics, default communications device. So same like playback, um, choose properties, but we're going to do more here. Okay, microphone, so always zero. But here in voice meter, it always changes. So uh, from time to time, check the sound control panel if it changes because for sure it will catch noise. So like here, it's 100%, but uh, I will leave I'm recording. Maybe it will affect my recording, but I will definitely bring it back to zero. Okay, so don't forget to move this to zero. All microphones should be zero. Wave, it's up to you. I just only want 14. Okay. 
sound. We're not going to do anything with sound. Communication. So I recommend mute all other sounds. Okay, there you go. So yes, why should we put microphone to zero? Because we are now using Plantronics and it will just focus with our headset. So with the control panel, it will block. So it won't catch any background noise. So uh, sometimes um, I received <laughs> notification just a while ago that I should uh, check the audio because Skype is not picking any sound, picking up any sound. So um, set another microphone. <laughs> and uh, another funny thing when I have class is um, they keep on saying hello because whenever I have dead air, they thought I was gone or the line was cut because they can't hear anything. And uh, don't forget, of course, after you set everything here in voice meter and control panel, you have to also adjust what are the settings in whatever platform you are using. So for me, I'm using Skype. So go to Skype settings, audio, and speaker. So you have to set everything in voice meter. Voice meter output. So don't choose Plantronics. We are going to use voice meter. And what else? Um, yeah, I'm using platform from Skying. So yes, I also choose voice meter input and voice meter output. So here we, we can this is the sound oh, i think you can't see it but on the right side yes there is this kind of volume but it's just five so like what you see in the control panel it doesn't matter because you can adjust the volume here or in your headset yeah i adjust the volume in my plantronics headset plus to increase the volume and minus to of course decrease the volume okay so yes uh what else um I think that's all uh, I do here and uh, right now actually uh, I'm using electric fan so um, I'm not sure but yeah I um, you can't hear it for because uh, it blocks but maybe even if you hear it you can't even recognize it as fan so your class won't be so disturbing because of the noise, the bark of the dogs, the chirping of the birds, the whining of the babies, um, the, the sound of the motorcycles. So everything, it will block. So I just open my window and even though they are noisy outside, yeah, it can't be heard because of this voice meter. So I hope that you learned something here and if you're already using another software so and you're happy with that software, um, yeah, you can maintain that. But if you want to try something new like voice meter, so I also yeah recommend you to do that. And with the headset, I'm just saying Tronics and voice meter work well together. But if you have another set uh, of, uh, or not set, but if you have another headset, it's also okay. Just follow here. So maybe the name won't be Plantronics, but the name of your headset. Okay, so that's all. And thank you.